Paraverse Live is sponsored by Visage Paranormal. The team at Visage Paranormal offers ghost hunting events around Yorkshire and the Midlands with the possibility of going further afield in the future. When you attend one of their events, you will come as strangers and leave as friends. You will never be forced to do anything you don't want to do, and they can always accommodate anyone. You will have the chance to use some of the latest gadgets during the night or go old school and use your own senses. They welcome anyone over the age of 18, whether you're a skeptic or a believer. No gimmicks, no fakery, no BS. Viewers and listeners of the show can also get an exclusive 10% discount. Just use code PARAVERSE at the checkout. Visit their website at www.visageparanormal.co.uk and get yourself on one of their upcoming events. Hello. Oh, every bloody Sunday there's something. There's always technical issues. I was having technical issues. The guest was having technical issues. I think we still managed to go uh, go live kind of on time for us. So it's not too bad. You'll also notice I'm on my own tonight. Gaz still isn't back yet. And I couldn't convince anyone else to come do it with me. I thought, you know what? I'll do it on my own. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Let's see who we've got in. Uh, where's it gone? Five past midnight, paranormal evening. Uh, Luna's here as always. Matt from the Berry Pomeroy Castles Haunted Heritage page. Who else we got in? B's here. Another Facebook user. It's always the same. If you haven't done it before, which I'm, I'm assuming it's a stream, you have been a pain, it always is. But uh, there'll be a link just above the the video that will say streamyard.com slash Facebook, click on there and give it permission so I can see who you are. But I'm assuming you already have, and StreamYard's just been a pain in the ass, as it always is. So normally we'd just sit and chat amongst ourselves for a while, but I can't really chat, sit and chat amongst myself because it's, you know, it's just me. So I'll uh, I'll get the guest on a bit earlier this week. So uh, joining me this week, a few of you might, might recognise him, is uh, Richard Felix. I know. It worked <laughs> every week. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, oh, most yeah. people. Yeah, we're on. We're on. Oh, You're jolly on. good. Cheers. See, <laughs> so, yeah, most people probably know you from uh, from Most Haunted. But, oh, um, God, that was a long time ago. <laughs> a few people might recognise you from um, from. Ghost tours around Derby Jail. It's another thing. Oh God! My, Big time. My uh, my friends have been and done the same thing. So, uh, do you want to start there? Tell us who you are, what you do. What What don't I do? <laughs> probably, probably easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do. I, I mean, I mean, it's, this started. Oh, I don't know. Thirty odd years ago, go, goes me doing ghost walks um, around Derby, around the city of Derby. I was chairman of Derby Tourism. God help me! Um, and and um, I, I thought we need to do something. Do, do we need to do something to try and bring people into the city of Derby? Uh, I opened a heritage centre, which was in an old Tudor grammar school, uh, with a ghost uh, mm. in the in the um, on the top floor in the old uh, dormitories. A ghost of a little boy of about twelve. Uh, and and I thought, yeah, okay, let's do a ghost walk. Well, I did a ghost walk, and I thought it was awful. I hated it. I thought this is rubbish. I can't. I can't. I can't do something that I don't believe in. And so, I, basically, I'd got store. I'd, I'd read up on, on on stories about ghosts in Derby, um, and I thought, no, 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 no. If if I do it, I, I need to authenticate it and 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 believe in the whole damn thing. So I started. I only did one. Everybody loved it. They thought it was great. <laughs> I didn't, uh, and so I, I I sort of stopped stopped for about eight months. I think something like that, and just started to research um, the whole business behind ghosts, hmm. rather than just telling ghost stories. Uh, and of course, I came up with with I suppose what what's the the best thing of all is the fact that ghosts and history go together. Yeah. Uh, and so I I needed to tell I needed to find the history behind the ghost stories. Um, 
I, and, and although even to this day, 30 odd years on, I, I can't prove the ghost stories, mm. accounts, sorry, accounts is the word. Um, I can prove the history behind it. Yeah. And I think that goes such a long way into mm. making the thing so much more interesting, yeah. exciting and credible. Yes. It, it, it's it's, whole, like, it yeah. definitely makes it a lot more believable, especially yes, if, if someone's saying that they've made contact with a certain person and you can corroborate that that certain person has a tie to that building. Not not that they, it necessarily has to have a tie to the building, but it does no, seem no. to help. The evidence yeah, it, seems it to does. suggest that it helps. It, 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 God, it, 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 so much so, yeah. It, you know, if you can tell the history behind the, the, the building, the person, uh, you know, in other words, you just, w- walking around, walking around, like there's a ghost in there and, there's a grey lady in there, and there's a there's a blue lady in there. <laughs> I mean, it, I would think it would get quite boring after a couple mm. of hours. And my go, my ghost walks were, were three hours, mm. uh, a couple of haunted pubs on the way around, and taking people inside the places rather yeah. than just standing them outside, um, which again made it far more interesting because people went in to mm. the room, to the cellar, to the attic where. Where the incident, whatever took place, that that caused the ghost still to be there, mm. and that, that's that's the credibility. So yeah. you know, oh, there's a ghost in there. Is it, yeah, but why is the ghost there? Mm. What what's the ghost's name? Can can we name it? Can we can we find out why is the ghost there? <clears throat> what yeah. happened to the ghost that caused it still to be there when it shouldn't be? Yeah. Uh, we- and and what can we do for it? Mm. Hey, what, what, yeah. what, what do you mean? It's a ghost, isn't it? We've come on a ghost walk. It's like going to the zoo, peering through the bars. Is it? Is it? Is yeah. it feeding time at, 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 for the monkeys? Yeah. No, no. Let Let's find out whether we can release hmm. that ghost from that building. Yeah. Because it shouldn't be stuck there. Yeah, I think one like of opening the gates of the zoo and letting the monkeys out. Really. Yeah. The main. Uh, the, that's the, the cr- main that's thing we. I think. Yeah, the main thing we always like to talk about on here is kind of the science behind it all and how it works, why it happens, yep. what what is actually happening. Because for hundreds, hundreds, probably even thousands of years, people have seen strange, unexplainable things. Yeah. But no one's ever actually come up with a definitive, this is what it is. So no, some, no. something's happening. I want to know what it is. Even if it's not paranormal, even if it's just something scientific we don't understand yet. There's still yeah. something there. I want to know what the answer is. And so right. having the history is another part of that investigation because without the history, you're just sort of guessing uh, yeah, why, yeah. why sure. things could be there. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely something that, that needs to be done when you're doing an investigation. About, That's right. About I mean, what, what does, everything. as you mentioned the word paranormal, what does paranormal mean? Mm. Well, it, it's para is the Latin for running alongside yeah. parallel lines, right? So paranormal is it, it's something that's running alongside the normal, yeah. but we don't understand it yet. Mm-hmm. Y- yeah. What? What about uh, su- supernatural? Well, mm. it's natural. Yeah. But it's a bit super as well because yeah, we don't definitely. understand it. Yeah. There's a, there's a meaning behind everything that we refer yeah. to in, yeah. in, in whatever, so, but in, in the you know, the, the ghost hunting, paranormal, supernatural, mm. call it what you will. Um, there's a meaning behind it. And that's mm. what you need to go into to try yeah. and find out more about it. And I, I've i always said that the reality behind the ghost business is actually far more fascinating mm. than the Scooby-Doo side of it. Yeah. The scare factor. Mm. Yeah. Which you get on think, all TV programs. Yeah. The worst, the worst thing, one of our pet peeves on here is that people... Um, the, the 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 YouTube kind of sensations of people going into haunted buildings and finding a poltergeist or a demon yeah. within five minutes, and it's all for likes and shares and views. and And the the first thing they do when they go into a building, they try to find a ghost. They ask, you know, if there's anything here, move the table. The table moves. They all run out of the building screaming. Thank you so much. Oh, well done. What, for God's sake, you've just asked, asked for that. To Isn't that what you're looking for? Isn't yeah. that what you're waiting for to happen, to find a bloody ghost? So the first thing you do is run away. 
And yeah. every TV program, be it be it Zach, whatever his name is, mm. Zach Baggins or whatever, and he's you know big butch bloke mm. with his dressed in black. As soon as something happens, they'll bloody well run away. Yeah, and it's a bit I'm like being frightened really. of fish and going fishing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've caught a fish. Oh, I don't like fish. Run away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for God's yeah, sake, and... guys. Yeah. Remove they, the they scare throw fight. the word. They throw the word scientific around. Like, are we doing a scientific investigation? That there's no such thing as a scientific paranormal investigation because you can't measure something you don't understand. No. No. And no. just going in with, um, we're always bad mouthing most of the technology on here, like EMF detectors and things like that. Oh, people, thank you. People thank claim you. that oh, they're well, ghost we're detectors. We're the same here, I think. Yeah, people claim it's a ghost detector. But is it hell? You can't you can't detect something you don't know what it's made of or what it does. No. So they're just no. sort of waving no. these things around. Get no, it no. and be like, it yeah. must be a ghost. Like, no, no of course not. Yeah. I mean, all the you see, to me, oh, this could be to me, the only ghost detector hmm. was two actually, you and your dog. Yeah. To be quite honest with you. And all these all this equipment. Which I think is great, and, and and obviously the Americans tend to use it even more than we do. Mm. Um, all these these um, this electronic equipment, it's great, fantastic, but all it is is an aid to yeah. it. it. It isn't a proof behind mm. it, yeah. um, and all it does is so. For instance, oh my God, the temperature! It's dropped so much in this room now, and and you get yourself a. Um, a laser thermometer mm -hmm. and of course all it does the first thing the red light it's the wall and it, mm -hmm. it it records the temperature in the wall yeah oh the temperature's dropped yeah but you know so the only the only way you could really do this is to have a probe yeah. that you dangle where that person says the temperature's dropped just mm -hmm. here oh feel it here you know it's really cold here so dangle the thermometer the probe yeah. there Yes, it t oh, it's tr it tells you the temperature's dropped, mm -hmm. but it doesn't tell you why the temperature's dropped. Yeah, it, it's not. It doesn't tell you there's a ghost there. Yeah, but it, it just it, means it, you it found an a aid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an aid to ghost hunting. Yeah. Is what is what so, I yeah. said. EMF meter. Yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, energy. You know, but mm. but it's detecting energy, but it's not necessarily detecting the energy from a ghost. Yeah, whatever a ghost is. Mm. Uh, and, and so all this kit, you know, you're far better. In, I hate to say it, sitting in a room on your own, mm. waiting for something, yeah. you know, seeing what you sense and yeah. feel. But, um, that, but that doesn't look as good on YouTube, does it? It doesn't look as good on YouTube or on Most Haunted or Ghost Adventures or no. or, or or anything else for no. that matter. No, it's all down think, to electronic equipment. Yeah. I think the only the only way you can ever really use all of the equipment is if if your thermometer goes off and your EMF detector goes off and you pick something up on your infrared camera and you, all yeah. of these things happen at the same time, yeah. what triggers one shouldn't trigger another. So if they're all picking up something at the same time, there's your evidence. Interesting. But one, there's so no. many natural things that could be causing a cold spot or a high yeah. EMF peak or a, something weird on your infrared camera. That's not enough evidence to prove that you've got something paranormal of course it's not no mm -hmm. whatever paranormal means <laughs> yeah whatever thing. that is yeah, yeah exactly it doesn't even necessarily mean spirits or no. ghosts or no. energy or anything it, it, i think it, another because obviously we we like to get into the 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 crazy science of like quantum mechanics and all yes. of this stuff that yeah. could yeah. maybe yeah. explain it all and the possibility of different physical dimensions and that's yeah, what fourth we're dimensions seeing, and, and yeah yeah which which could explain aliens it could explain cryptids like why well, can't we see the loch ness monster all the time because yeah. he's not always there he's in a it's in a different physical dimension you can't always so see is the ghost yeah how yeah. are the ghosts yeah but then that leads you into the question of is that just where the spirits of the dead go or are they even the spirits of the dead? They this could be the way time works. We could just be seeing the actual people in the past walking past. Yeah. That's why they don't seem to interact with us. Yeah, yeah. You, they you've could actually the still be there. And yeah. then, <laughs> then you've got to ask yourself: Are we the ghosts to them? To them? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> That's <absolutely>. mind-boggling. <laughs> yeah, it, the whole thing is mind-boggling. It really it is. It really is. Uh, 
but but you know there's a reality behind it that that we're, we're not well so we'll forget tv because mm. you know because at the end of the day that that's entertainment yeah uh, and and all down to ratings and mm -hmm. and so all oh, i don't care what you know that, i don't care what tv program uh, there is on ghosts that they, mm. they're all the same they're yeah. all interested in uh, viewers of course i understand mm. that um and and the scare factor mm. scary ghosts all the time it's got to be scary it's got to be a demon um yeah sorry <laughs> we don't no. do demons <laughs> no I don't do evil spirits. Sorry, that's not true. I mean, evil spirits, you know, I mean, the, the, I, I think when you die, whatever mm. your personality, your ego is, goes yeah. with you. Yeah. And so I if think, you're a, a miserable old twat that, 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 <laughs> that, you know, that spent the last few years, yeah, okay, how? But what about the, the Pendle witches? Can you imagine mm. how angry all yeah. those poor old grandmas were mm. when they were hanged? For for, mm -hmm. for 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 being nothing more than the equivalent of Boots the Chemist, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where people yeah. went to them for a, mm. for a, a, a remedy to to cure whatever there was wrong with them mm. at the time. So they yeah. mi mixed them up a potion of whatever it was, mm. uh, or a poultice for the wound on their arm, or or to help them with it with it with a bit of a prayer or a chant mm. to help with the mil the milk yield. Uh, and they also happen to be Roman Catholic in in a Protestant country. Uh, yeah. Wow! Can you imagine how angry they must be? Yeah, that's about it. Mm. Yeah, and like, story. I think we've mentioned it before. How many truly evil people actually exist? There's like there's people that are an absolute asshole. There, there are is. people that are generally just not very nice. But yeah. they're the if if you had that spirit in your house, they'd just like hide your car keys or something just to That's just right. to mess with you. That's right. They, mess wouldn't, things be, about. they yeah. wouldn't be truly no. evil. No. I mean, so, I always say, you know, do you really think Hitler's wandering around picking daffodils? Yeah. Or Mangler or or uh, no, because they were yeah. they were evil bastards, you know, and and, and yeah. so they've uh, they've obviously taken wherever they've gone, they've taken that with them. Mm. But on the whole. Yeah. 99.9% .9 of the population of this world are yeah. actually quite nice. <laughs> and, and what are the really? chances? What are the chances Hitler's in your kitchen? Like not a lot. Chances are it's not him, is it? Not a lot. Although, if you go on YouTube, chances are you've either got Hitler or the devil himself oh, in absolutely. every room you, you go in. Dev the devil, he's everywhere. He that, is that devil and all he's his busy, little busy man, all, those all those demons that were created created by the Catholic Church. Yeah. Um, yeah, whispering in your ears. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, We've do you had... know what? There's so much more to this yeah. than, than than most people realise. And there is room. I've been saying it for years. There is room for a documentary program, mm -hmm. um, telling about telling what, trying to explain the reality behind mm -hmm. the ghost business rather yeah. than the scare factor but but mm. tv don't want to know that because no. it might not be scary yeah could be uh, yeah <laughs> it could be because because there is every dog like, scary things scary it depends on who you are if you're yeah. an investigator and you are in a in a room and you've asked for a table to lift up and it does that's not scary to me that's interesting i'm intrigued i want to know how it worked i want to yeah. carry yeah. on yeah. But if you're just sitting there, like a little old lady sitting there watching Coronation Street and your table lifts up, that's terrifying. <laughs> so it, it, it be, depends it who you be. are for what's scary. Yeah, that, that's right. But, that's very, very true, actually. But it it doesn't necessarily... They, too many people like to use the scary words like demon. Yeah, and well, well especially in America. My, yeah. my sister, she had things going on in her house. Still lives with my parents, so she had weird things going on. Yeah. And when I was growing up there, I felt weird things every now and again, kind of like someone standing right behind you, like really eerie, dark kind of feelings. Yeah, yeah. Didn't like it very much. But her little lad had apparently started seeing someone, some figure. Right. So she called in someone that she'd seen. I think it was on TikTok or Facebook or something. She came in, literally pointed at her kid and went, there's a demon attached itself to him in front of a like, four-year-old kid. It's like, what dangerous. 
But then she kind of waved a bit of sage about and said that she, but only <laughs> upstairs, said that she'd ridded the house of this demon, went downstairs and went, oh, it's there. Not, well, because you didn't exactly, whatever you were claiming to do, you didn't do a very good bloody job. You're upstairs you're and right. downstairs, love, I'm the cellar, I'm but, the attic. <laughs> but she, um, she was trying to, because she's a she was a Roman Catholic. She said that you should oh. probably get him christened, and it was like that's why she uses the word demon. And yeah. technically, if you look at anyone that's ever claimed to have been possessed, possessed. by a demon, they're all Catholic. It was like, of so. so chances of are so. you're actually better off not getting him christened because they only seem to like Catholics for some reason. <laughs> Weird that, I it? wonder why. I wonder, basically because they've been indoctrinated yeah. by the Catholic Church uh, into believing it was basically the Catholic Church or, or Christianity was was created for one reason and one reason mm. only for control yeah. through fear yeah. and so invented we, all of the terrors that have kept mm. us terrified for 1900 years yeah. all it's of the Ten Commandments it's, it's the grown up version Everything. Yeah, it's the grown-up version of Santa. If you're not good, you won't get presents. Or if yeah. you're not good, you won't get into into heaven. You've, you've so got you it. Have to, you have to stick to our laws and our rules. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't get the the gift. Otherwise, at the you're end damned. Of the... You're damned to yeah. eternal damnation, hellfire, yeah. damnation, and the mm. terrors of the. Oh boy, and and it's still not. It, it's lost its grip, but it's mm. still there mm -hmm. so for a lot of people. There's a lot of Catholics out yeah. there. That yeah. still believe in in all this nonsense. I'm afraid, um, and and my yeah. theory, of course, is one of my many theories is that uh, religion, Christianity especially, has caused an awful lot of ghosts mm. that don't move on because yeah. they're terrified of divine retribution, hellfire, and damnation. Yeah, because of what they've and done in their lives. Yeah, we spend apparently yeah. as a good Christian, you spend the whole of your life atoning for your for your sins. Because we're all born sinners, apparently. Yeah. Uh, and we have to we have to atone for our sins in the vain in the vain hope that we may we may pass through purgatory after I don't know how many millions of years uh and get in through the pearly gates. It's no. the biggest but we yeah, but we still ridiculous. believe it. And the the idea that the de that the devil is this like horrible being that yeah. will burn your soul in hellfire forever, like when you actually look into the, obviously, I don't believe that the devil's even a thing. No, neither do I. If you look into just their own, their own stories, that he came down from heaven and was kind of jealous that we got to do things like drink yeah. alcohol and party yeah. and do all these things they weren't allowed to do. <laughs> yeah. He joined in, and then God went, "You can't come back now. Off you go." Yeah. And he then created hell. Like so, technically. Hell sounds like a really cool place. It sounds like there's going to be lots of alcohol and drugs and yeah, yeah. I certainly don't want to go up to on. heaven and be alone. I want to go I down there. Want to go down there, please. Thank you very much. Really boring up there. Yeah. I want to go down yeah. there with the devil. That's right. Yeah, I mean, basically, yeah. you know, Christianity came on the scene, uh, and and there was good or mm. po positives, so they had to create bad and, and negatives, mm. and so they invented they invented the devil. Uh, and all his little minions, all his demons, his little little devils, uh, yeah. Ten Commandments, Seven Deadly Sins, Four Mortal Sins, Purgatory, Damnation, Hellfire, Antichrist, Witches, and... Yeah. Wow! They believed all this nonsense mm. in those days. Yeah. And, and, and think, it's still uh, to this day. Yeah, it just... It's the same as most religions. It was kind of... It, the, the older religion started as an answer for yes. why is this happening? If yeah. you want yeah. if you, if I want this cup to move, I have to physically pick it up and move it. Yeah. So if it's raining, someone must be making it rain. Like a very, very basic understanding of the way the world works. <laughs> but now we have all the answers. Why are you still believing in the in the, the fairy story? It doesn't it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It really yeah. Hansel and Gretel did, is actually more credible. Yeah. We did a we did a show <laughs> On demons, just kind of the the idea of where the, the the first idea of demons came from. So, if anyone can hear any banging, all the kids are running around upstairs. They know I'm sat, I'm stuck here, so I can't go tell them to shut up. So yeah. they're running around being loud. If anyone can hear any banging, but yeah. So the the demons, we looked into the the whole history where the words came from. It came from the, the ancient Greek. Greek, that's right. It was their 
their form of like pagans and and things like that they'd look they they believe in things like deities so sort yeah. of sort of like somewhere between uh gods and humans some kind of somewhere in the middle yeah. and that was that was the ancient greek word for these deities people they pray to and ask for favors ask them yeah. to help them do things but when the the christian yeah. religion was formed they translated it all and thought that we don't like our religion doesn't have space for little deities that can help you the only thing you should be praying to is god so we'll just say that they're all demons and they're all the work of the devil and that you shouldn't be you shouldn't be uh yeah. praying to these things and that's where the, the the idea of demons came from in the in the bible it was yeah. just to stop people praying to these other things that's right oh absolutely yeah yeah because you see, as, as as a you know, I mean, a few a few months ago, I was doing an event in Derby Jail, and I said to them, you know, have you, you has anybody here ever heard of the ghost of a caveman? And and uh, nobody, <laughs> not many people have. I'm not saying there aren't any ghosts of cavemen, but there aren't many compared yeah. compared compared to the yeah. other ghosts. And this bloke says. Well, no, there aren't any. There aren't any uh, ghosts of cavemen because they were all they were all stupid and un unintelligent. And I said, "Well, yeah, okay, well, if that's what you believe. Fair enough. But you know, how can you say mm. someone that actually worshipped a god that he could see and fear, heal, and feel mm. the sun? How can you say they were stupid when we're worshipping something that you've never seen?" Uh, mm. Yeah, the supposedly lives in the sky. At least out there, yeah. God brought life uh mm, and then all yeah. of a sudden disappeared around october and and mm. the crops failed uh and the grass stopped growing and they couldn't feed the animals and life was stopped so what did they do they went and lit bonfires to try and attract mm. the sun god back that's halloween oh how yeah. scary is that yeah um and end of story basically yeah. so you know they were and and what about all these stone circles that they built mm. these energy uh, points that they knew about that we haven't got a clue what they're oh they're stupid are they uh, yeah I don't think like so. uh ley lines and things like this yep like... yep exactly energy you see i'd love yeah. to change the name from ghost to energy yeah definitely. but but if i did my ghost walks wouldn't work <laughs> <laughs> an energy walk. people wouldn't book on an energy walk i'm afraid yeah. but that's it, it. Just, that's it. The just sounds word, like a it? like a health thing <laughs> doing an energy yeah. walk <laughs> yeah, an energy walk would be, you know, because that's what they are. Energy. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just energy in different are. forms. We are. Yeah, whether it's residual energy that's stuck in a place or energy that can free move around and can interact yeah. with you. Yeah. Because each one but, of um, us emits, you know, we are, I mean, you know, I say to people frequently, you know, um, actually, if you could float mm. and take your feet off the ground, what what why where does the energy come from that that that, that generates you because mm. you're a self-generating energy source that yeah. doesn't have you know and i say carefully how i say it, you know when did you last plug yourself in to charge yourself up you never have yeah because you you just lie down uh, and put a bit of fuel inside mm. and you generate energy because yeah. you are a self-generating energy source uh, that emits two kilowatts of electricity in a 24-hour period. Yeah. Um, and first law of thermodynamics is, you know, you can neither create or destroy energy. Yeah. That means that that energy, which is you, personally you, because yeah. there's only one you on this in this universe. Mm -hmm. there, may, there may be others that look like you, mm. but there is only one you yeah. You know, I don't call it your mind or your consciousness or your ego or your spirit, your soul. I mm. call it you. Yeah. Because that is you are you are the only one. Yeah. Each each one of us is is unique, and mm. nothing but an energy source, and that energy has to go somewhere on point of death. Yeah. And I don't know where. It's I the same it. with um, information. So obviously, we know our brain works in like an electrical way, and yep you store information and information is what makes you you all the thoughts you've ever had or the things yep, you've ever yep. felt or the dreams you've ever had is all stored somewhere in information mm. and like energy information can't be destroyed that's what yeah. sent stephen hawking crazy trying to figure out what happens to information that goes in the black hole that destroys everything 
it yeah. sent him mad trying to figure out what what it is yeah. because yeah. information yeah. can't be destroyed. No, so no, what no. happens to all the information that's inside Where does it you go? when you die? Yeah. yeah, exactly. It has to it has to exist in mm. some form. Electro mm. electromagnetic, whatever you what do you call mm. it, what you want. Energy is the word. Yeah. And it and it cannot cannot be destroyed. So that that is you has to exist yeah. um somewhere. I don't yeah. know where. I, 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 don't, I don't need to prove it too quick, because if I do, I'll be out of the job. Yeah. Because nobody will be inter- <laughs> we, we won't be interested in it. We'll go on to UFOs then. If yeah. we prove what ghosts are, uh, yeah. people will drop, drop it. Because uh, it's, the, it's the interest in the unknown, isn't it, that, that makes yeah. it so fascinating. Yeah. Um, so Although, let's, let's not go too far. Let's not prove it too yeah. quickly. That's, that's <laughs> why I'm, I kind of, I'm really interested in the whole different dimension thing. But yeah. if that's proven to be true... That could explain UFOs, things yep. like the Loch Ness monster, cryptids, ghosts, the power. Everything's just been answered Everything. in one go. I'm out yeah. of a job. I've got yeah. nothing to talk about. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's the problem. So be careful. I'm, hope, I'm hoping I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think you're right. Just be one more show. Me going. I was right. Bye. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See you guys. Got nothing else Thanks to talk for about. <laughs> yeah. Love but, it. Uh, so anyway. Yes. I could I could sit and talk about what's wrong with religion for oh me well hours, me, me, me too because I say I'm a, I'm a huge um, I don't know what I am agnostic um, I believe there's something yeah I, I oh, for a long time thought it was when you're dead you're dead you just light switched mm. off everything's got like turning off a TV it's gone yeah yeah but. Because obviously I was very much into just science and everything. That yes. If science yes. hasn't explained it, it, it isn't real. I didn't believe in UFOs. I didn't believe in the paranormal. And now I've done talks and I do a live show every week talking about the U- talk about UFOs and the paranormal and how they're real. So obviously yeah. something happened in the middle. They are, yeah. But um, yeah, it's... I can't remember the point I was trying to make now. No, that's you see, well. My my take on the on the UFOs <laughs> is you know a same old thing. Back to the church, really. I suppose. Yeah. You know, are we really so self centered mm. and bigoted as to believe that we are the only planet in the universe and beyond? Yeah. What's beyond the infinity, for Christ's sake? You know. Yeah. Well, oh, we're the only one with life on it. Why? But yeah. it's back to the church again. You know, it's yeah. not that many years ago since we believed apparently that that that, that the sun revolved around the earth. Mm-hmm. Galileo, wasn't it? That that yeah. was was imprisoned for years under house mm. arrest for coming up with this nonsensical idea yeah. that that we 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 circle the earth, the, the sun, yeah. or whatever we the, did. The, the whole universe revolved around. The the, uh, well, the universe yeah. being the few planets that we'd seen because we couldn't yeah. see anything else. Yeah. Yeah. But it was yeah. absolutely useless. But yeah, so I started, started off very science based and then realized there was there was a lot that couldn't be explained. But I've still got the scientific mind of okay, there's there's got to be something to explain it all. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's generally what what I'm looking for is the scientific explanation that can explain. So, so am I. But my whether problem. Whether we have one that explains one thing or something that explains everything, there's yeah, got yeah. to be something there. Yeah. And yeah, there has. There has to be the, the, to the, the, the current idea, the second you mentioned quantum mechanics, it seems to be the thing that, especially in TV shows and films, they just throw the word quantum in, in front of something to make it, <laughs> so I could make up something absolutely yeah, nonsense, but say it's yeah. a quantum machine and therefore it can do all of these special things. But there's now, obviously, with, with looking at things like consciousness, no one really knows if it's something we have or if it's something that's like actually inside your brain or if it's just something like gravity that we're just feeling and kind of plugged into. And if it is yeah. something that we're just plugged into, maybe that's where the information goes. A bit like when you turn your TV off. The signal's still going to the TV, yeah. but it just yeah. can't show it anymore because yeah. you've turned it off. But the signal's still there, so the, the consciousness is still there, the energy's still there, the information's still there. Is that just then sucked up back into the universe? And the idea 
the we're all made of star stuff and all this all these cool sayings and yes, stuff yes 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 we are just the universe experience in itself they now think that the universe is not just conscious but is consciousness so yeah, we literally yeah. are consciousness experiencing oh, consciousness yeah, yeah and it just it blows my mind just trying to look yeah. just the more i look into it the more i get a kind of aneurysm or something it just hurts yeah i know what you mean but it's all put, so so you see my my latest take on the whole thing is that i i, I think that the, the the brain is actually nothing more than the hard drive yeah that stores the information mm. that comes from a from a lifetime if you like yeah. uh <clears throat> excuse me 85 percent water mm. wow you know um will the next supercomputers mm. be water-based because this one is yeah yours is everyone else there 85 percent mm. water holds yeah. information and, and so i'm a, i'm starting to believe that the mind the personality the mm. ego the consciousness you, that word yeah. again, you, mm. is actually not just there, but yeah. throughout the body. Yeah. Your mind is is separate to the brain. Mm. Yeah. And and it's it's for some well, and it's sort of transported or held or whatever you want to call it in mm. water. Yeah. Which of course is the what's the word I'm looking for? Not the meaning of life. The the something of life. What water is. Is everything? W yeah. Water holds memory. Uh, water, water is is um, far more important than any of it. We come mm. from water. We 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 we're in water when we're for, for nine months. Uh, yeah. We're made of water. Uh, we're seven. We're hang on. We're seventy five percent water. But this is eighty five percent water, mm. uh, and it passes through the body, yeah. through the blood. And and so I'm wondering how much of this is to do with with water. Uh, um, uh, yeah. And, and you, so I mean, you went, a, then you interesting get theory, of makes sense. Mm. And, and you get a transplant of, of heart and lungs uh, to a particular person, uh, and within within hours of them coming round, they develop a craving for um, beer, and mm. and they're female. They get beer and and uh, chicken nuggets. Yeah. Uh, and then they find out later that the the donor w was a, an eighteen year old biker. That was yeah. uh, big time into beer, and, and, and mm. his favourite meal was was McDonald's chicken nuggets. Yeah. Now, what's that all about? Yeah, it's definitely very weird. Okay. So, in other words, that word "you," mm. which I use now instead of, because there's there's only one you yeah. on this on this in this universe. There may be yeah. others that look like you, mm -hmm. act like you, but there is actually only one you. Yeah. And, and, that, and the the idea that your that you or your consciousness or whatever it is that because we we've always kind of thought of I always try to not repeat myself and say it exactly the same way because we've had a lot of the, the very similar sorts of chats on the show. Uh, but you're basically just a big meat suit that moves around when you tell and you're the driver and then when yeah. you go the driver gets out and the car just stays there so. yeah. but if if you do then go on do you then get to drive another car do you uh, get is that well, what reincarnation like, is like, yeah 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 i uh and pat, i don't people, know the kids there's like stories of little kids that have told their parents how they died and took them to the site and found a body yes. and they're like That's yes true. yes i know how? yeah so weird i know i i so I, I you see i'm not a believer in 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 the Hindu sort of mm. reincarnation, you know, yeah. newborn baby, dead person soul, newborn baby, yeah. dead person soul, mm. rabbit, yeah. per somebody's soul, cow, yeah. somebody, whatever. That no, mm. I'm not a believer in that, but I am. I'm I'm interested in the fact that it may be that to get to the next level mm. of wherever you go to, yeah. you have to somehow be like passing your driving test. Yeah. Uh, some people may have five past lives because mm. they've had to come back and reset, whereas others got mm. straight through to the next level. Yeah. yeah they passed the driving test straight away. Yeah. They're up and to that's the next vibrational level. Yeah. 
some so think, sometimes someone's got no recollection whatsoever of anything before them at all yeah. but others do and mm. as you've said can take them to the village show them yeah. their mother or oh my god mm. i mean you, yeah. you know and it, it wow. doesn't it doesn't help people people that have like hypnotic regression to try to find their past lives yeah, how well, many different Napoleon, people? Aren't they? Or, yeah, or, how many or, different yeah. people were Julius Caesar? Is ridiculous. Yeah, oh, all so, the time, all the time. Oh, yeah. Yes, on my nerves. But it it, it could just be a case of your past memory, because obviously your brain works in a certain way. You yeah. don't remember your dreams, but yeah. if someone was to mention a dream that they had, if it was the same as yours, you'd be like, actually, hang on, I remember that now, and it suddenly jogs your memory. Yeah. And now you've got that the, the little yeah. picture in your head to show you what that dream was. So you have things stored as memories that yeah. some you can remember whenever you like, some you kind of forget about. And but there's lots of other information, like how many times you've blinked or how fast yeah. your heart's beating, that you don't have access to no, no. because you don't need to know that. No, so no. if the information but it could be from your, yeah, if 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 the information from your past life, it could still be in there, just yeah. not as memories, so you can't physically remember it. Mm-hmm. If someone was to take all the information out and decode it, you could have had 30 past lives. But yes. you just can't get, you can't access that information. But the, the really, really mind-boggling thing is if if past lives are a thing and you may be reincarnated into other lives, and if there are other dimensions and that's what you know that's yep. kind of where your consciousness goes and then you come back if the idea of time being instead of being a line comes around as a circle then that means you could be re you know once once i die i could be reincarnated 500 years ago yes i don't necessarily it. have to come back in the future no, which no, then means no. if i if you can be reincarnated infinite amount of times we could all be the same person just being reincarnated again and again and again and again so technically you could be me yeah it's more credible much more credible it, that's it's bleh, no i don't like that idea yeah, I, know. <laughs> I do because it's really interesting but it just hurts your head it's too yeah, late at night for these conversations yeah but it's, it's so anyway should we should we um have a chat about the paranormal? Because <laughs> oh, I, we? I can sit here and talk about all this stuff all night. I generally do every night. <laughs> and people get bored of hearing me. So, what was your first paranormal experience? Uh nothing whatsoever until I was 27. Um, I was frightened of ghosts from the day from the age of four, hmm. and I still am. I still have a fear. Of the damn thing, although I'm, I and yet I am the, the voice of reality. I'm the bloke that tells everybody they're not scary, they're not there to get you. The, the profession of a ghost, if it had one, would not be to get you to scare you. Yeah. They're not there for that. They were there, they were you and me, and, and they are around for a reason, but they're not scary. But we're yeah. scared of what we don't understand, and I still have that, I still have this fear. Which is absolute nonsense, right? But so I'm very lucky in the fact that absolutely nothing happened to me whatsoever mm. until I was 27. Yeah, uh, until and, you're old and, enough and to kind of rationalise of an age, of an days. age uh, for it. But you see, <laughs> people will obviously know that that have noticed the very infrequent times mm. that I ever went off alone. To do a night to do a lone vigil on most haunted mm. because I was <laughs> genuine. <laughs> We're in a haunted location, right? Mm. And, and I was genuinely worried, scared, yeah. scared is the only word I can use mm. of, of going off alone, even though I say there's nothing to be scared of. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, w- I was um, I was an officer cadet um, in the in the Worcestershire and Sherwood Foresters Regiment, and we'd been on this exercise, big exercise. At a place called Bestwood Lodge in Nottingham, mm. which went right back to, oh God, King John went stayed there. Anyway, yeah. very old place. Uh, we'd have this incredible battle, pretend battle, you know, uh, blank firing, thunder flashes mm. going on. No, because that's that was my my passion in life is is mil, is the military, yeah. soldiers, battles, uniforms, swords, mm. weapons, 
you know, that's my my yeah. interest in life, military and what have you. Always, all I ever wanted to be was a soldier. Uh, and so there's me in this mock battle. Talk about exciting. I've never been so excited in all my life. And we finished about one o'clock in the morning, got back into this um, very large 1930s um, sort of classroom area of yeah. Bestwood Lodge. It's a hotel now. Um, and I lay down in my sleep. I was I was second to the last bag. Everyone else got back in the sleeper bag. was asleep. Yeah. And I got back into my sleeper bag next to well, 37 soldiers in this room. And I got down in a sleeping bag. And then I'd been there for moments, I think, when this voice started up at the back of me calling for a nurse. Moaning, groaning, crying. Uh, youth, about, I don't know, 17, 18, something like that, calling for a nurse and crying. It was in pain. Mm. It was dying, basically. And reality, I mean, I wasn't frightened. Mm. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a ghost or anything like that. Looked at the bloke next to me, you know, is he snoring? Because, yeah. you know, I'll be honest with you, sounds a bit like nurse. Well, yeah. he wasn't. He, yeah. he wasn't snoring. And and I ended up with with uh, cry. I had tears trickling down my cheeks listening to listening to someone dying. Yeah. But what I couldn't do was help them because there wasn't a nurse. There's no, yeah. I couldn't get press the buzzer and fetch the nurse to him. There's nobody yeah. there. Yeah, and even and then, even if there was a true. nurse in the room, what no. what are they going to do? How are they, they going to help? How, how can they help something that's not there? Yeah. But but no. Anyway, I went to sleep as you do, and the yeah. number of people I speak to. That sell to, say to me the same thing after a, well I went to sleep I said well how on earth after you'd seen that in the room or that had happened mm. to you in the room you know I mean a prime example a girl years ago ended up in in a double bed in some place and and turned over to see an old lady in mm. the bed with her she got moaning going please help me. And I said, oh, for God's sake, what did you do? Oh, she said, I turned over the other way and pulled the sheets over me. I said, you stayed in the bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I went, for Christ's sake, woman. You know? but, <laughs> but I didn't see I went to sleep. Mm -hmm. But next morning, woke up. Um, and you know the difference mm. between a dream yeah. and reality. You know what I mean? And bloody hell, I, what did I hear? I, was, I didn't tell anybody. Mm. Of course not. I was officer cadet, like 37 soldiers. Oh, sir, heard a ghost last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I buttoned it, didn't say a word. But I, it was on my mind all the time. And then without without going into too too much detail, I was then, it, it, we were doing the rest of our camp down in, in Wales. Uh, the exercise had finished and we were on this minibus and there were three of us in this minibus. I was driving it um, and uh, there was a young lady with us, a uh, Women's Royal Army Corps, mm. and a, a lad called Charlie Zamet, who was Maltese in, mm. in the regiment with me. And we were just chatting about it, and she said to me, where, where were you last night? What? Oh, I said, oh, bloody hell. I said, we had this battle last night. Uh, mm. We were attacked by the Queen's Regiment, blah, 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 blah. And she said, oh, that, I said, oh, I'll tell you what, tremendous. Where was that, she said. I said, Bestwood Lodge, you know, up the road. And I, mm. Oh, she says, that's interesting. I said, sorry, what, 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 what's interesting? She says, that place is haunted. This is out of the blue, completely. Mm. Out of I said, oh, come off it. Don't, no, no, no. What, what do you mean? She said, no, no. She said, I was, I was reading an article in the Nottingham Post the other day. And it's haunted. I said, yeah, I know it is. She said, how do you mean? What do you, what? I said, well, stop. Don't say any more. And I turned to Charlie Zanet that's sitting mm. next to me. I said, Charlie. I want you to bear witness to this before any before any more is said. He yeah. said, what are you on about? I said, I'll tell you in a minute. And I turned back to the young lady and I said, it was a hospital, wasn't it, during the war? Mm -hmm. She said, oh, yes, that's part of the article in the Post, nothing in Post. It was requisitioned by the army during the Second World War as, an, as, an, as a hospital. Yeah. And I, bloody Nora. I, I, you see, I believe that I heard you see you know how you probably know how much i'm into uh mm. recordings mm. i think yeah. that six, 60 percent of ghosts are a recording held in the fabric yeah. of the building um and um basically i i think that i was you see what i've never done mm. 
and I well, I've done it last week, funnily enough, is we should be into when we talk to someone that's seen a ghost, heard a ghost, mm -hmm. felt a ghost, sensed a ghost, smelled a ghost. We want to try and find out what frame of mind they were in when they saw it. Mm -hmm. What had happened to them before the incident took place? Yeah. Had they had an argument? Mm -hmm. Had their football team beaten another football team 3-0? Mm -hmm. Were they had they changed frequencies in their yeah. brain? Which I well, believe happened to yeah. me. Were they tuned was... into a, a different frequency? So they were now picking up the frequency of yeah. the, the replay. Because I was on cloud nine. Mm. I'd just been in a battle. And I've never yeah. been so excited in all my life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I just got back in the yeah. sleeping bag. We beat the Queen's Regiment. I blasted a rose moving machine. Oh, come on. Yeah, I was I was yeah. up there. Uh, and, and, and I think that my frequencies changed. Mm. And I tuned in. To the recording in the brick wall at the back of me where a young lad had died in 1940 whatever yeah that's Which, my take fair, that that explains a lot of things because with residual okay. hauntings recordings whatever you mm. want to call them that <clears throat> you'd think a lot of theories are that they <clears throat> Excuse me, that they re replay on the anniversary of how long they've been mm. there, or if the you know the the, yeah. the weather's a certain way. Yeah. Or yeah. You, can, <clears throat> you can never recreate it. If it was the anniversary, you could mark down the day that someone saw oh, yeah. this grey lady, and you yeah. could go back on the same day and you'd see the same grey lady. But no one ever yeah. does. No. no. So if Puffy it is just that, especially if there all on, the time, if you're there on a ghost hunt and you're all terrified and waiting for something to happen you're on the wrong frequency yep if, if you could figure out what that frequency is and how to get there yes. we could all be just suddenly surrounded by ghosts it's, it, it's, in fact it's the same day. as pressing the replay button on your on your mm. set recorder yeah that, that's it's my just, take on it yeah right now we just can't we can't find the bloody button can't find play. the frequency and that's my problem yeah. what frequency is it how do we change the frequency yeah. to the frequency that yeah. is actually in the brick wall, the stone wall, yeah. uh, the water, yeah. the soil, whatever mm -hmm. whatever contains silica, mm -hmm. which is a semiconductor, uh, and, and iron oxide, which is magnetic. And th this yeah. is where I'm coming from. You know, uh, in other words, I believe that a, st a brick wall, stone wall, or whatever, is exactly the same as a cassette tape that can yeah. store information, uh, can store a recording. But to make that recording, mm. you have to be in a very <clears throat> agitated, traumatic mm. state that creates more energy coming from you than normal, yeah. which is the energy, the same as the battery in the cassette recorder, yeah. that causes the recording to be held in the fabric of the building. Yeah. And I think that's 60% of it. Makes sense. Which <clears throat> kind of explains as we've mentioned thousands of times on here and you touched on it why no one sees ghosts of cavemen because their energy has been imprinted on whatever whether yeah. it's too far down underground now that we've built on top of it all or yeah. the fact that they used to live in places that no one lives there anymore yeah, yeah. or that their energy's just been there for that long. That it's that faded. It's, just, it's so faint now that it, you it, can't ever pick it, up on it. It's like your favourite video mm. or whatever, that you used to yeah. play over and over again. The more you watch it, the more the faint less, it gets, the, the more damaged it, it gets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or uh, the fact is that most cavemen <laughs> who live, obviously lived in caves mm. or not, yeah. whatever happened to them, Trauma, same thing, yeah. possibly happened on the surface, mm. but but how many people have actually actually gone into a cave? Which let's mm. be honest, they could have been attacked by a saber toothed tiger in their yeah. cave and mm. ripped to pieces, and there could well be a recording in the cave. Yeah. But how many people have? Well, I suppose, oh, no, people do go in caves. Mm. Yeah. People, um, but nobody's ever, as that I know of, ever mm. re taken a re reported a recording no. of a ghost in a cave. And then you've also got to realize 
But even even people doing paranormal investigations in caves, because the, there have been stories yeah. of voices and things that you yeah, can't quite yeah. place in caves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And people have gone in and investigated, but caves are generally they're dark, they're spooky. That you've got the worry of what if I fall down a hole and I get stuck. Yeah, yeah, You're always yeah. that extra bit scared. So you're bringing yeah. your frequency down even further. Yeah. Because that's what it's all so, about. Because most people that see ghosts uh, are thinking of something else, or talk, yeah. or yeah, you know, you know, I mean, talking about something, and and, yeah. and, it, and it happens without. The, they're not sitting there saying, "Will you do something? Will you yeah. appear in front of me? Will you tap something? Will you yeah. whistle the yeah. air? Will you do this? Will you do that?" Yeah, you know, most people don't. That doesn't. You don't see that. They don't perform to audiences. No. It happens when you least expect it. Yeah. When you're not we, thinking, we, oh, we've I'm seen, waiting to see this. We've seen hundreds of things around the house, like little people, like people walking past. Yeah. Um, the wife heard someone singing. She was listening to Fleetwood Mac in the kitchen. Heard a little girl singing. Thought yeah. it was a, thought it was our daughter. Turned around, like, oh, well, you singing, and th there was nobody there. And she was yeah. upstairs. And it just lots of little things. But it's always when you're washing up or making a cup of tea yeah, or just yeah, correct. making yeah. the dinner. You're not yeah. sitting I mean, there hoping yeah. to I mean, see these the things. The last thing I was thinking about hmm. when I climbed back into my sleeping bag yeah. after a battle or whatever was, was a ghost. Hmm. It wasn't a ghostly place. It was a, a hmm. 1930s looking, very large 1930s classroom type place yeah. that had been built years later. Yeah, and that's the last thing on my mind yeah. was... Oh, there's a ghost in here, you know. And so I wasn't, you know, thinking about it. And it, but I'm convinced that I just happened to be on the right frequency yeah. at the time to perhaps tap tap into that fourth that fourth dimension, or, mm. or I don't, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. I think but the that's only what it's all about. I told this story last week. I think the only time we've ever asked for something to happen, and then something happened. But it, it wasn't what we asked to happen, yeah. and it made me laugh. And I was like, whatever is here is winding me up. The the, the missus bought me a, a Ouija board for Father's Day because she'd always oh, been cool. terrified of them. And I was like, <laughs> well, she's got she's got pendulums and tarot cards. And I was like, it's What's just another form of divination. It's the same thing. It's, of not, it it's because, like standing in a circle saying, is there anybody there? There's no yeah, It's a piece of MDF been, with letters on it. Yeah. Exactly, because it's been kind of perpetuated as this oh, evil so, thing. Uh, Hollywood so either way, I, I convinced her to buy me one, and she's now on board that they're not terrifying. No, but she not. still thinks, she's still kind of dubious of using it because of how easy it is to fake. If yeah. you don't trust the people around you, anyone could be spelling anything. Yeah. So we did it, just me, her, and one of the kids, and yeah. this thing, we did it for about an hour. It didn't spell any words out. It kind of vibrated ridiculously slowly yeah. around the table, did nothing. So I was sitting there kind of getting bored, and I was like, come on, if there's any spirits here, show yourself, show me where the spirits are. And I heard this noise behind me, beyond the, the fish tank. Right. I couldn't, couldn't place what the sound was. And you know the little plastic window on an envelope? Yeah. If you kind of rustle it, yes. it sounded like that. I said, like, what the hell's that? So I went and looked, and it was a, a letter that had fallen beyond the fish tank in the kitchen. And the plastic had been rustling, and it was next to the bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah. So I'd asked for it to, spirits. I'd asked for where are the spirits, <laughs> and it showed me where I'd kept them. I was like, oh, for God's sake, I didn't mean that. So I've got a sarcastic ghost in my house that's just decided to warn why me. Why not? Why not? God's sake. <laughs> but that's yeah, a, it just made me laugh. And I was like, it's literally just sitting there watching us yeah. doing this weird board, yeah. like, what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my my first ever uh, encounter, um, and the best of it is, I, I to this day, and this must be Christ Almighty. It was about it was nineteen about nineteen seventy eight, seventy seven, seventy eight when this happened. All I needed to do was go into Nottingham to the Nottingham Evening Post and get a copy yeah. of the newspaper article, and I've never done it. And I could hold it up now as I could have held it up a thousand times when I'm talking about that. Yeah. I never bothered. You, you, this is the complacency of the whole thing. I never, ever bothered to get that article to read what she about what she'd said about not about mm. it being haunted 
and yeah. and I actually went back and did a because <coughs> as you probably know I've done oh, Jesus about fifty three DV uh, videos of ghosts around the country, ghosts of Derby, yeah. ghosts of Brighton. and I did I went to Bestwood Lodge, and mm. when we did nothing, ghosts of Nottinghamshire, and I actually went back into that room. Uh, with various bits of equipment, <laughs> including an EMF meter, mm. nothing happened. Mm. Nothing happened because I was in a, I was in a different world. I was on a different, different, different mindset. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's what I think is so. The big one for me is: is the ghost there, mm. or is the ghost there? Yeah, and that if that theory is right, that. You only you only seem to see these things or Perception. pick up on these things yeah. when your frequency is higher and when you're not looking for them. And yeah. technically, all paranormal investigations are pointless because because you're going looking for them, you're not yes. going to find anything. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I, I can't no, point. Go in now. Garbage jail, please. <laughs> well, damn, no, just did yeah. myself out of a job. Yeah, I'm me. But you're so right. Because this is the thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a couple of things here. Number one, do you realise how bored ghosts must be? Yeah. Being continuously um, asked, will you, you know, whatever place, well, you know, Billy really yeah. East Drive or you, anywhere you want, will you do this? Will you do this? Every Saturday night, every yeah. Friday night, can you do okay. this? Can you move? And then can you the, appear to? On can the you other occasion. And then on the odd occasion that they're like, oh, fine, I'll do it. Uh, they all go, ah, and run away. Like, run away, out of the building, yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. And then here's my other one, of course. Have you ever thought of this? What do ghosts do all day and night? Have you ever thought about it? Yeah. <laughs> do they play golf? Do yeah. they get out of the pub? <laughs> do they... <coughs> <laughs> what, yeah. what does Anne Boleyn do all day? Mm. When she when she's not ha haunting Blickling Hall, or, yeah. or or the Tower when of London, when there's no on one there to scare. What like... do you do all day and all that? Or in... Hey, <laughs> well, it's a good point, idea. isn't it? Yeah, and then there's the fact of if these there's obviously the difference in ghosts and spirits. Ghosts are just basically your residual recordings that you can pick up on, and spirits are the things that apparently. And, Again, and, and, and intelligence, and intelligence. intelligent things that you can communicate with. Yeah. But if these intelligent things that can pick and choose if and when they want to communicate and they can be wherever they like, yeah. Yeah. like how many of them have watched me in the shower? You know, there could be 500 of them standing Yo, in the back room. Yeah. Like, it's terrifying. Like, can I, I just know. have a bit of privacy? I need to find yeah, out know. if any of this technology can detect an actual spirit so I can wave it around before I go to the bathroom just to yeah, make exactly. it on my own. Yeah. Especially if you like, you, you're obviously saying you've got a, a, a you, you've got ghosts, you've got a haunted house. Yeah, quite worrying, okay. isn't it? That was a few few months ago. I was in the shower and I heard that on the bathroom door, and I got music playing, and the shower yeah. was going. I was like, "Hang on, I'm in, the, I'm in the, I'm in the shower." And then you, heard, I'm in the shower. Like, leave me alone. And then I heard like bang, bang, bang on the door. I was like, obviously, one of the kids has got his headphones on, can't hear me. Yeah. So I jumped out of the shower, grabbed the towel, swung the door open, nobody there. So I was like, yeah. they've obviously just like given up. Gone, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, went, I went in the bedroom. They're all sitting there playing the PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. I'm like, did any of you bang the door? No, we mm -hmm. haven't moved. Message the wife downstairs. Did you just come up? No. Where are the other kids? They're in the garden. Like, and who the hell was banging, like really heavily banging on the shower door? I kind of don't want to go back in there now. Yeah, no. Yeah. But if if I live long enough, to... my next weird. ghost book is going to be called Toilet Ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, really, the number of haunted toilets, shower mm. rooms, bathrooms, uh, incredible. And, and, of course, remember that they weren't. I mean, I don't know how old your yeah. house is, but you know, uh, old in a, some place, it wasn't the toilet, it wasn't the mm. bathroom in sixteen hundred. Yeah. It is now, yeah. but again, it's back to water. Yeah. Big, big yeah. believer in you I mean, know the number of again, sites that are damp or wet. The first weird thing that I ever um, encountered was in our old house. Again, water running and brushing my teeth. Yes, yes. And 
the the thing we we came to know as the gropey ghost walked up oh and my grabbed God. my bum with two hands. Really, I full up felt squeezed, turned around laughing, thinking it was the missus, and she yeah, said, the "There's no one there." I was like, "Yeah, that was it." Was that in the shower? You say? Or... I was in the bathroom, just brushing bathroom, my teeth. Yeah, think running. Yeah, yeah and uh, honestly, the, the haunted bathrooms uh, and kitchens, shower yeah. rooms. Toilets. It, it, mm. it's, and it, you know, everyone, we all joke about it, but it's an absolute fact. And it's back True. to this business of water and energy. Mm. And, and, but, you know, we need, well, you see, the problem we've got is, you see, you're, you're actually talking, which is great, quite scientifically about mm. all this, which is great news. But, but there's not that many people that are. Mm. They're, they're yeah. all, they're all back to, uh, well, either electronic equipment, mm. which is, I suppose you can call it scientific if you want, but but they're mm -hmm. they're they're not looking at the scientific side of of the ghost mm. business at all. Yeah. And of course, as you know, and it's well, science don't want to know anyway because mm. yeah. you can't prove them. Well, we've got I because obviously I I'm also a UFO investigator. I, I right, people that have got you. I'd seen UFO sightings and look into them and things like yeah. that, and with the ufo subject it's kind of been taken a lot more seriously by a lot more people especially in the last few years nasa are now looking into ufo sightings I'm sure. I'm the sure. us government have declared that ufos are real they've released yeah. footage of them over uh, military installations yeah. Yeah. congress are talking about them it's it's taken seriously now but until then, we we kind of relied on things like uh, we had MUFON in America and Bufora over here, the big organisations that will look into everyone's sightings for them. Yeah. And they then collect all of the data. And obviously, yep. for science, yep. you need data. The more data you have, the more evidence that you could maybe come, you could find patterns. Yeah. They're yep. more likely to be seen here. Is yep. this the most what's the most common shape what's the most common experience yeah but we don't have that with the paranormal no 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 everyone's got their own little bit of data that they've seen yeah but that's it and even yeah. then they wave their emf detector around and it goes beep 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 and they think they've got a ghost but what <laughs> what frequency did you pick up did you make a note of what you actually got yeah. no yeah. so no, exactly. i had to I was talking to one of my other another investigator that I know that we're both very much into we basically had the same interview when I had him on last year. Yeah. Exactly the same sort of talking about the science and dimensions and all of this mm -hmm. stuff. And we both kind of got the same pet peeve that it's not taken seriously enough Isn't, by the scientists yeah. and the investigators doing it now aren't as scientific as they claim to be. So we are in the very, very early stages of creating that organisation that will right. now collect this data from other investigators. We'll give yes. them a, yes. a list yeah. of the information we want, which will be our aim is to figure out if any of this technology even works. Mm. Yeah. If it doesn't, we can then prove it with the data yeah. and then also collect everybody's personal experiences yeah. including the weather, the time, the date, the place, that anything. What were you doing beforehand? What did you do straight after? How many other yeah. people were in the house? Everything, yeah. collect yeah. it all in data and then make it publicly available for everybody yeah. else. Yeah. And eventually, that would be incredible. we'll get to the point that with enough data, we can say, okay, this is most likely. This, If you get this reading on your EMF detector, chances are it was just bad wiring. But yeah. if you can get this frequency, yeah. Yeah. Uh, our data and evidence suggests that that may actually be paranormal. So yeah. that's what you're looking for. Yeah, exactly. So then the, investigating, the investigations that go on after that could actually be scientific investigations where they know what they're looking for. Yeah, and exactly. We can go out and try to figure out. Because once then, if you've got this is the frequency that seems to be the most likely for you to detect, when something weird's happening, can we explain that frequency naturally? Mm. Mm. Is there something else that can cause it? If not, now we have a, a paranormal frequency to, to look for. Yeah. So it's going to take a long time and a lot. I know of it data, is. I know it is. But we 
because no one's doing it no yeah, one's recording we're, we're, it. we're gonna we're gonna have to reach out to as many legitimate investigators yeah. Yeah. Not people just making it for their own YouTube uh -huh. and whatever. We want oh, people and, that and, want to and, get and, profit. and for, for profit, you know. Yeah. Um, we, obviously, the whole thing we're doing, it's all going to be not for profit. We're not going to make a penny out of it. Yeah. We just yeah. want answers. And doing it on our own, I'd have to do so many investigations where nothing yeah. happens. Yeah, I know. It'd take decades. So hopefully, yeah, we're sure. trying to kind of reach out to as many investigators, as yeah. many people yeah. that do it. A lot. Yeah, no, no, it's an extremely good idea because you know, I mean, sci science. Yeah, I just cannot. I, you know, I mean, I go back to the religion side of things, and I just cannot believe that in in the twenty first century, uh, that we, you know, you'd say there are such things as ghosts, mm. whatever that, whatever they mean, yeah. uh, and, and that the scientific world just poo poos it. Mm. But 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 the, the the Christian the the religion we yeah. are we are killing maiming torturing blowing up uh, extorting money on a huge scale yeah. for for something that for the same we're talking we're singing from the same hymn sheet yeah they're talking about something up in the sky mm. that live that 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 oh you see you know where I'm coming from uh, yeah. And yeah, I mean, I mean, so we're talking of a guy that was executed, right? Died or whatever. They buried him, and a couple of days later, he came back again. Hmm. Well, what was the difference? Yeah. What, was was the resurrection the first ghost story? And the Holy Ghost. That's the whole the point. Holy, God saved. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit and the yeah. What What on earth? It, it's unbelievable. Hmm. The, the, and <laughs> how many of those? How many of those scientists? Are also religious, yes, but Quite won't, a lot. but don't believe in ghosts. Ghost. But but, but you, believe but in religion in has a ghost. In it. Yeah, but, yeah. I, I find it yeah. bizarre mm. in in this day and age that there is that the two go the two should go together. Yeah. And then again, just touching on UFOs for a second. Five years ago, if you'd have asked anyone at NASA if UFOs were a thing or if they'd ever investigated it, they'd laugh in your face. Right. Now they're openly investigating them and saying we've got files that go back that we've seen things and we're looking into that. That and and even with with the U.S. military, <clears throat> they're now having to look into dated um, sightings and personnel saying I saw this, where they didn't want to come forward because they just got ridiculed and belittled. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. No one, yeah. no one believed them, but yeah. now they they're taking them seriously. Yeah. So I kind of want to do anything I can do to try to help the paranormal get to that point where yeah. there's enough data and evidence that was taken in a scientific way, not just in a, oh, I saw oh, something. Yeah. yeah. If we can get enough data to say, look, I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying yeah. it's the spirits of the dead. I'm saying something's happening and we need to get to the bottom of what it is. Yeah. There are, yeah. It needs proving or disproving. Yeah. Well, not not no. not disproving because I don't think there's anything to disprove. No, I genuinely believe there is something in it. Yeah, but it's not it's not the nonsense that mm. that you you see the problem that UFOs have got and ghosts is that Hollywood has has, has uh, you know mm. I mean if 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 a, if a if a UFO landed in my back garden now, mm. uh, I would obviously ring the police. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, I, I, uh, the police would. The police would come out, and they'd then ring the army, mm. and they'd nuke it. Yeah, because they're scary. They're going to get us. Yeah. Why? Or, how do, or how depending do you know? on depending on who you listen to, you'd be silenced and or disappear, and that thing would just be buried somewhere under some yeah. hidden oh, yeah, base course. somewhere, yeah. and we wouldn't know but, where either yeah, of you. Why went. shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I go to the the, the, the entrance mm. and wait for something to come out and and talk to me or? Yeah. You know, why Why should I be frightened of it? Exactly. We've got Same no goes, reason though, to be. It? How do we know they're going to get us? Why yeah. should they want to get us? So, to be if if they've got the technology to, mm. either, get here. <laughs> to either get here from the vast distances across the universe or yeah. interdimensionally, they're already here anyway, but they, yeah. they can make themselves known and make themselves visible. Yeah. Then surely they've got the technology, if they want to, yeah. To either send their version of a nuke 
a car fire across the universe oh, or interdimensional. No way would we nuke them. They they yeah. wouldn't be able. They wouldn't need to show themselves if they wanted yeah. to kill us, and no. we wouldn't know how to retaliate or no, who no, to retaliate no, no. against. Exactly. Exactly. So just the fact that they're here and we're still alive means they don't want to kill us. No, if they why wanted, should they? they yeah, exactly. No, exactly. So I mean, just as a matter of interest, were, you know, the first moon landing. Yeah. I wonder if any of any of the guys were armed. <laughs> That'd be an interesting question. Just in case, <laughs> just in case they are there were there was life on 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 the moon. <laughs> well, have you heard the have you heard the recordings? There was I think it was twenty minutes. They lost lost contact with the guys on the moon, right. and there's yeah. apparently leaked audio that was through a separate channel because they had their emergency channel in case one of them died. They didn't want to broadcast it on the TV. Right. They had their emergency channel, and I've heard recordings that are apparently, with all this stuff, I wasn't there. I, I don't know no. for a fact. This all could have been fake. Yeah, yeah. But it sounds a lot like the same voices that said um, they were basically talking to NASA and saying, they're here, they're watching us. And they said, where are they? What are they doing? And like, they're standing on the edge of the crater, and they're just watching us. And Houston <laughs> said, carry on with what you're there to do and let us know if anything changes. Who was there watching them? And that means that they knew in advance that, they were, that there was someone going to be there because they didn't go, oh, my God, there's aliens on the moon. They said they're here and they're watching us, which means they knew in advance that there was something on the moon. What the hell? But yeah, again, yeah, I can't hundred percent prove that that's real. Of course, you can't. Of course I would not. fake no, stuff no. on the internet. Oh, I know. So. The, I know. I know. I know that that is the problem now. Yeah. Mm. But wow. But again, yeah. you know, the, the, were, were, were they are? You know, was was Armstrong or I can't remember. Mm. The name. Yeah, were they actually armed? Did they have? Mm. Did they have laser guns? Did they mm. just in case there was life on the moon? Mm. Um, but, but why? No. Why should they? Because, but then again, it's what's the difference between Captain Cook hmm. um, and his ship land, uh, sailing to wherever <laughs> wherever he sailed first, Cook hmm. Island or Australia, or you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but they went armed, didn't they? Hmm. Yeah. Um, and he was actually killed hmm. uh, on on some island, you know. But yeah. they thought he was a god. Hmm. See, that's my other thing. You see, you know, we, yeah. was God an alien? You know. Well, oh, now we're yeah. getting into it, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll do, a, I'll do another show um, that's just just audio on um, conspiracy theories, and I do oh, really? I do the stupid ones as well, like the really ridiculous, like uh, the U.S. government killed off all the birds in the '60s and replaced them with drones. That oh, when they geez. poop on your car, it's a tracker, and they sit on electric pylon lines. That's how they charge themselves. And absolute. <laughs> And the but Titanic some of them, and the Olympics. Some of them are really, and, and, hey. them are really interesting. Like um, Kennedy. Um, yeah. Oh, I, the Kennedy one. I managed to, I, I did him last week. Oh, right. The idea that he was killed off because he was asking too many questions about UFOs. <laughs> and the same with Marilyn Monroe. She, right. she was asking, because obviously she had a, very close relationship with Kennedy. With Kennedy, yeah, yeah. Um, she had told someone that she knew that she'd been told all of this information that Kennedy knew about UFOs and that they were keeping them all locked away. And she planned a press conference. And the day before the press conference, she killed herself. As you do. And there was um, wow. an, American, <laughs> an American journalist was looking into his death because she didn't, but she knew him. She was quite close with him. Yeah. She didn't believe that he was killed by who they said he was killed by. No, no. And she was also looking into, have you heard of Rudlow Manor in no. Wiltshire? No. no. It was another one. It was taken over in World War II by the by the army as they right. kind of took over a lot of places. And it's got, I think it was like 2 million square feet of tunnels underneath it because it was a, oh, wow. um, they were mining like Bath Stone. They used it to build the city of Bath. And so it's got these massive tunnels underneath it. 
And at the end of World War II, they didn't give the building back. They they kept it, and it's still right. part of the military now. But there wow. was apparent there was apparently a UFO crash, and that's like yeah. that's what I was looking into the fact that the, there's apparently a UFO hidden in these tunnels and whatever. Yeah. I thought it was going to be nonsense, but the same woman that was looking into the Kennedys' death and Marilyn Monroe's death was also looking into Rudlow Manor and what was going on there with the UFOs. Mm -hmm. She'd sort of put the two stories together. She'd been and met someone and told close friends that she was one meeting away from coming to get into the actual truth of what happened to JFK. Yeah, She had a meeting with someone in New Orleans, and two days before, she accidentally took too many sleeping pills with a load of yeah, alcohol of she and did. died. Yeah. So I was like, wow. hang on, I, this is all linked. What the hell? This is oh, So I was yeah. very, very careful with what I said in the rest of it, just in case <laughs> I'd said the wrong thing and I suddenly <laughs> take too many <laughs> sleeping pills. <laughs> Wow. So, yeah, so I'm a bit I'm a bit worried now, but I, yeah. I thought there's so many little things that you're like, oh, that's nonsense. Everyone believes that Kennedy wasn't that he was killed by someone else. But when you actually look into some of these things, there's a lot of evidence that yeah. there's something wow. weird going on. Wow. I'm a bit scared now. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so uh I think we're most of I got loads and loads of questions I wrote down before I put up. I knew we'd kind of just rumble Digress. on. And, I'd have them just in case we we run out of things to talk about, but I could talk about it most things for hours. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but um, most of which I thought oh, I'll, I'll have a look through my question. And most of them we've kind of touched on while rambling anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> do you believe the claim? Uh, quite a few people have claimed this that basically every building in the UK slash the world is haunted to some mm. extent. Whether they all, have some kind all, of residual or a spirit. Yeah, yeah. All houses wherein men have lived and died yeah. are haunted houses, according to Longfellow. Yeah. And that was a long time ago. Um ooh, yes, I think there's a great possibility that there is recording recordings yeah. in in so many buildings. Uh, because I don't think that it's just a traumatic, tragic event that mm. can cause a recording mm. i think it's any form of energy that mm. the the human body emits mm. extra to normal yeah can cause a recording in the fabric of the building i i think so yeah. a, a, a really happy uh sort of experience uh, right right okay now then mary quinn scott's mm. she how many places does she haunt i mean she haunts every place you've ever been to yeah, fair enough. Uh, 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 she haunts Carlisle Castle, Bolton Castle, Wingfield Manor, Chatsworth, um, Buxton Old Hall. Um, keep going, Richard. You know, she, she yeah. haunts everywhere, right? Uh, apart from the place where she was executed, hmm. where the real trauma took place, when it took the execution of three blows to take her head off. Hmm. Yeah. So that's trauma to me. But I have to be honest with you. The, the place she was she was executed is nothing but it's it's, it's gone. There's yeah. almost nothing left. Almost nothing left, uh, apart from a, a a bit of a mound and and bits. But anyway, that's beside the point. So she haunts everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Well, she, how can? Why would she want to haunt Carlisle yeah. Castle, Lind Lithgow Palace, Holyrood? Oh, yeah. Why yeah. would she want to yeah. haunt all those places um, as a spirit soul? Entity intelligence. Mm. I don't think she does, no. but I think there is a possibility that she could. Her, her personality, her essence, her mm. whatever you want to call it, could haunt those places. Because mm. I'm a great believer in back to the energy bit, right? Yeah. And and to be famous as she was, mm. uh, very famous. Yeah. You have to have charisma. Yeah. Something like energy. It's mm. back, it's back to the yeah. energy. In other words, um, she was a very enigmatic, charismatic woman. Mm. And you know, when you meet someone like that, you yeah. often say afterwards, "Do you know they left a real impression on me?" Yeah. Right. Now, not only do they perhaps leave an impression on you, but is there a possibility that they leave an impression on the building? 
That's a good point. With their energies, <clears throat> which is yeah. a possibility. Mm. Um, yeah. And so, in other words, yeah. somehow Definitely. she leaves a recording of herself mm. in the book. Now, I, I've got to be very nice with you. I didn't realise this, but my battery is low. <laughs> Richard may okay. disappear in okay. a few minutes, <laughs> uh, which I apologise. <clears throat> I thought I'd got loads of battery, but it's just told me that I'm, I'm low. So Richard may well disappear in a few minutes. <laughs> and if I yeah. do, I apologise. Going, going back to Mary Queen of Scots, you've yeah. also, on the sceptical side, also got to assume that some of these places probably aren't haunted by Mary Queen of Scots, but it's a famous name to say that they're haunted by to get people to come in and do a tour. Yeah. And, and the second bit is the place is always haunted by the most important most famous person yeah. that was there it's never just haunted by that guy yeah. that tripped no. over and hurt his knee no. there that no. one time no. no no in other words i say so often um why you know uh who haunts the tower of london and people say uh Anne Boleyn. and i yeah. say how do you know it's Anne Boleyn? Yeah. well she was wearing a tudor dress yeah but didn't so all women everyone. wear tudor dresses yeah Exactly. Would you reckon? Would I anybody out there recognise Anne Boleyn if she glided past mm. it with a head under her arm or on a mm. on her neck? No, yeah. you wouldn't. If she but, if she came wandering into my house right now, I would have no idea who she was. But it, it was, was Anne Boleyn, a woman but in a be, shooter dress. But because she's the most famous person mm. executed at the Tower of London, it's the ghost of Anne Boleyn, and that's yeah. the biggest thing that people the trap they fall into. The most famous person is always the ghost. Yeah, and it's I not. Think not if I went to the Tower of London, I know exactly who I'd be trying to contact. One of my, I was in like, I was in one of the years at secondary school. We we're doing a family tree thing. Yeah. And I found out that some like long lost relative was an uh, an, an Earl of Essex. Oh. And was beheaded. Beheaded. In whatever <laughs> in the Tower of London. So I'd be yes. like, I'll go speak to that guy. He was You're also right. um, very very close friends with. A guy that also tried to blow up Parliament with the name Guy of Guy Fawkes. So wow. I was like, "Oh, he's my kind of guy. Him, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and have a chat with that guy. You never know where I get all my my rebellious side from." Wow, there you go. That's incredible. So that's who I'm gonna go try and contact at the time. Absolutely. Yeah. If he's still there, yeah, he might, he could yeah. be anywhere. Wow. So look, before, um, just in case I, I disappear, yeah, I need to th apologize. <laughs> If I go, it's, it's again, it's technology. It never I know, works. Yeah, it's not useless. I, I thought I'd got tons of battery. I plugged it in long before, long before I came on the show, and it's just telling me now battery very low. Uh, yeah. So apologies, guys, if I disappear. And it's been it's great. It's been great talking to you guys. Just in yes. case, well, uh, <laughs> definitely I'll have to arrange. We'll arrange and get you on again at Do some point again. in the future. Only two, please. Love to. And, yeah. And I'll, I'll actually ask some of the questions I wrote down. That you've written <laughs> down. Been yeah. Chatting. So, yeah, I'll have a – we'll have to sort that out. I'm going to quickly no see problem. if there's any com any questions before – in the comments before, before I uh, – Before disappears. <laughs> Sorry about this. They're all talking about the bloody colour of my walls and like, oh, well, I'm oh, they are. It's, about it's, my... very, it's very Georgian-looking green. It's very good. It's very – very nice. Um, da, 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 I can't bloody find any. Uh, sorry for anyone listening back as a podcast. You're just like absolute silence while I'm reading the comments. <laughs> I'll see if I can tr remember to try and edit this bit out. If you can still hear this, I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise. Uh, I think yeah, most of it we've kind of we've kind of covered. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been very, very interesting, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely have to have to do the yeah, second part of the conversation at some more. point. Loads more, loads more. Yeah, definitely. Trust me. And um, once we've got this new thing up and running, our little parallel. Let me know when you have got interested, know, and we'll have a, to get uh, involved in that. Yeah, we'll do. Well, I'll uh, I'll let you go so we can actually right, say. Mate. It's we'll been do incredible a, we'll talking to you, and, and I, you know, I've I've learned learned quite a bit from you tonight. Quite, I'm fascinated. I'd That's like to so talk good. some more. Yeah, about definitely. Uh, because again, like you see, my problem is I left school at fifteen, mm. and I am the most unscientific person you'll ever wish to meet. 
and yet I'm now into quantum physics and yeah. entanglement and holographic universes. And, yeah. and, and it's difficult for someone that's as stupid as I am yeah. to try I, and get through it. I left, I'd got no qualifications when I left school at 16. I was too busy hanging around with my mates and having a laugh. Yeah. 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 I hated physics at school. So did I. Absolutely dull. So, and now sorry, my bookshelf is full of books on physics and quantum yeah. mechanics, and I'm, I'm yeah. suddenly trying to catch up with all the stuff I've yeah. well, been bothered about learning. Yeah, because so. that's where it lies. Mm, definitely. Doesn't it? There's no doubt about yeah. it. There's so much more to it. But yeah, it's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed it yeah. immensely. It's been lots of fun. So uh, I think we'll yeah. have to have a few chats, not live, because otherwise we'll just bore everyone to death. Yeah, no, we will. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll have a, we'll get you on again at some point. Great we'll stuff. A, All right, now. Talk to you See soon, then. guys. See ya. Enjoy the rest of your night. And you. See ya. Where's it gone? Where's my comments? So, yeah, that was, that was Richard Felix. And uh, fortunately, he had obviously lots and lots of, uh, Really interesting things to say, but lack of battery, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely get him back on at some point. And I think that's going to be the shortest show we've done yet. And uh, exactly, if you can send more any questions in that you want me to ask, I'll try and remember or to write them down or whatever. I'll make a, make a list of the questions and we'll, I'll ask him next time we get him on. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'll call it a nod. And I'll uh, I'll see you all again next week. Actually, while I remember, next week I am hoping to be joined by uh, my good friend Stu as a co-host for the night. And we are joined by. Let me just quickly check my diary for next week. Where is it? We're going to be joined by. I think it's Bob Brown, who does a um, a radio show on paranormal weird stuff that kind of thing a bit like this generally so he's going to hopefully have a lot of interesting things to talk about then um the week after we are joined by andrew johnson to talk about the star child skull and the week after that is mike koval uh preston dennett gary hesseltine um who else have we got we've got chris conway coming on later on the year but loads i think i've only got five Five shows between now and Christmas where we don't have a guest lined up. And some of them are really, well, they're all really good guests. But some of them, a bit like Richard, I, I was shocked they agreed to come on the show with me. So, good. We're going up in the world. Anyway, I'll uh, let you all go and I'll see you all next week. See ya. See ya.